Hey guys, it's BW. We're back out in the garage. I told you we were going to pick up right where we left off, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me pull you down off the camera pod and show you what I got, okay? First of all, you guys remember, I put a little tiny smudge more of plastic right here, and I just got done blending that in. It feels pretty gosh darn good. All right, so we're going to go with that. This is ready to go to 400, okay? I did discover a tiny thing right here, but I'm not even worried about it because that's where the rubber flips over when we put the stationary glass in. So, eh, we're good. We like it. And through here, you remember I put one little tiny more smudge over this to re go over it again. And man, I'll tell you what, going up through this way, I can't even feel the transition. And that's what they say, go with your feel, not your eyes. Going this way, there might feel a tiny bit, but I think that has something to do with going metal, plastic, metal. And I think when I get to 400, we're not going to feel that anymore. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say that's good, and we're just going to stand this to 400 next and be done with it. That one looks good, feels the same. That one there, too. And, of course, you guys remember this. All right, and I also finished this out. I just, you know wanted that line right there just like i showed you last video and the other one to look the same it's real nice right here it doesn't have to be because you guys can see and it, anybody that has a tri-5 knows this is real wavy through here it's actually a little too perfect right here but that's all right you know i had to fill that in that's where we our new quarter came in and met and i just wanted a nice clean radius so it, it come out good we're going to call that good all right one of the things we're going to start doing i played around with a little bit of plastic that I had left over I scuffed right here and I put a tiny bit here but it's still high in through here so we're gonna have to start blending here and here both door jams I'm not worried about up here too much because when we put the thresholds in it's gonna look good you know it's just you know it is what it is it's what the what the car is we might smooth it out a little bit but we're not gonna worry too much okay but we got to start where the rocker and the quarter and get that smooth and transitioned in we got to do that on both doors over here i didn't put any i just did it over there because i had a little tiny bit of plastic left over so i quick scuffed it and played with it for a minute to see how it was going to go but same thing over here you can see it's it there's a big drop off where it goes in so we got to smooth that in we got to scuff it out down to 60 and then or at least 100 and get ready to start blending that all right now in through here this is all i'm going to do tonight is mix up a little bit of plastic and i want to fill in these low spots and continue to work on this you can see the low spots where i was sanding everywhere and then like right here the sanding didn't even touch it because it's all low low spots there and it's good for a second then you got a low spot see them right through that's a big one right there low spots so we're going to fill those in i got to do a little feather job right here yet coming down through there same thing yeah a little low spot right there right there it's a little low spots where the sanding di uh pads didn't even touch it and right there so we're just going to mix up a little tiny bit and feather that in and that's where we're going to go with tonight all right so that's what i'm going to do i'll get that mixed up and i'll bring you guys in and show you what i got right. yeah so that's what we got all right so that's where i'm at let me get set up and i'll bring you guys right back in once i get things rolling again so why don't you stick around and check it out hey guys We've been really getting after it for about eight, eight or nine hours on this thing. And uh, I'll show you what I got. We'll start here because I'm on this side. This is where we joined the quarter. It feels really good through here. I can't feel anything. All right. And then these were the trim pieces used to go and we, we welded over and body worked. And through here, it feels really good. All right. The only issue I'm having is where this little bump is like uh let me show you right there like there was a grinder mark you can see where that where the plastic's in there right there i can feel it right there uh right there a little bit and one more right there a little bit and i'll tell you i, I that's the second time i tried filling it up and it's like every time <laughs> that i hit it with the sander i'm going back and forth and i know I, I know i'm only taking a tiny bit off i even switched to 400 but i can still feel it a little bit so i might try one more time but i'm pretty happy overall with it 
I went ahead and sanded in through here, up through there. And I sanded the top up through here a little bit and just, just cleaned it up, made it nice and smooth. All right, so this one's almost ready, like the other side that I have covered with the towels right now. I might work on this just a little bit more. Like I said, there's a couple little spots, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Down here, this rocker probably came out the best. <sighs> I can't see any, see or feel anything transition-wise through here. It just it just come out really nice. And this is where it was heaviest because I did I joined this quarter to this rocker a little different from the other side, and it was a hair lower here. So I had to add a little more. Uh, plastic right through here but uh, overall it's pretty good there's a little dip right here but i'm not gonna worry about it it's nice and smooth so we're all right okay let's go over and show you the other rocker and this rocker came out per rocker to quarter came out pretty good too you come up through here can't i can't really feel anything you can see where right there there was a little high spot in the metal but overall really good i mean you know i don't think anybody's going to be able to see it whenever it's painted let's put it that way it's going to be it's going to be uh good i think all right so that's what i did there and i don't think it's half bad for never doing body work <laughs> and then, then through here same thing and then i didn't worry about the weld joint up through here we're not over concerned about that so that came out pretty good I just have to sand both rockers to 400. They're at 220 right now. And yeah, so I also want to get this old sound deadening stuff off the roof. It's falling down there in the back on its own. So I got a scraper in the house. I'm going to go in and get it and scrape all this out and get it out of there. I mean, I've already made such a mess with the dust and everything. So I figured I might as well get this done too because it's a really dirty job before I clean everything to try to get ready to paint. I also want to go ahead and scuff up these door jams. I figured, why not? Just go ahead and scuff them up. We'll uh, prime and paint those as well when we're doing the dash and the window frames. That way the door jams are done too. I got a tiny bit of body work I got to do right here. I, I guess when I was putting this uh, striker plate bracket on the new quarter, I, I guess that's where this little weld doohickey came from. But I'm just going to put a little plastic on it and sand it and take care of that. But yeah that that's pretty much it i just want to scuff up both door jams get them ready to go too all right so that's 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 where i'm at i mean we ain't got a whole lot else going on right now except the body work and the stuff but I, I mean i'm just bringing you guys in and showing you but i'm gonna clean up and call it a day for right now and uh, pick it back up tomorrow see you then hey guys well i'm making a terrible mess so i figured i'd bring you in and show you what's going on <laughs> I decided to start taking that sound deadening, the old sound deadening off the ceiling, and man, what a mess. I got the front side done. Sorry about the strobing. I'm trying to light it up real good so I can see, and then you guys in turn can see. But uh, yeah, I've been scraping at it. Everything I have, all my scrapers are down at that house that I was working on. I mean, I have nothing here. I had this piece of crap scraper here it didn't have no real guts to it, it had just plastic crap. It didn't do anything i just ended up getting a piece of flat bar and i ground the end of it off ground it down and made my own scraper it seemed like it works okay but man what a what a job to get that off it's like i didn't really want to leave it on there i want to put the newer stuff up in there and it was drooping down see how it's not in right there in that corner it was drooping down everywhere it's not in the back it was drooping down and you can even see up in here it was drooping down a little bit but man it was stuck really good in the middle and it still is so i still got to scrape this stuff out yet i'm going to get ready to do that I'll, I'll put you guys on a uh tripod there and we'll bring you along for that i guess for a little bit i took the ribs out it's one of the few things this shell still had it had all the ribs I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. I numbered them anyway. Put the tape all on the driver's side, one through six. This one can stay up in there. It's kind of like a, a fakey, I guess, that kind of holds it up in there. And then this side has these clips, but there's only three. I, I don't know. I'm going to put a headliner in. I'm suspecting I'm going to need a couple more of these clips. I'm not sure why. So if anybody knows, you can comment in the 
comment section let me know but i'm going to take these three and get them out of the way so i don't lose them there isn't any on the other side so there's that <laughs> but anyway that's what i'm doing i'm going to climb up in there and get this some of this back out anyway give it a shot and uh, let me get the tripod set up and you guys can check it out if you want to this out guys always unearthing something new on this car bring you up in here and show you I took the uh, sound deadening off here and exposed the hole I guess where a I don't know a siren or a something some kind of a light was on here at one time it looks like there's metal in there on, on top of it i don't see how it's welded though so i don't know how that's on there or what's going on there so uh once i get the sound deadening off i guess we'll have to sand it this a minute and take a look at it and just see what the heck what the heck's going on because let's go out and look i i, I don't remember seeing anything in the middle of the of the roof Sorry I'm bouncing you around. I'm trying to crawl out here so we can take a look together and see. Yeah. See guys, I, I don't see anything here. You can skin where the ribs ain't. You can see how you can move this thing a little bit, but I mean, I can't see. I can't even feel it really. So, uh, I don't know how they fixed that. <laughs> but it's an interesting little thing we just found there was definitely a hole there we remember there's these holes up here there was something there too so there's something going on there i'm not sure what oh let me come down out of there for a minute i'm gonna have to sharpen up my uh i'm gonna have to sharpen up my homemade scraper but you guys see the gist of it man that stuff is that stuff is tough to uh, scratch off. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call it a night. It's getting on 9.30 at night here. I still gotta go clean up this mess a little bit, go in and shower. 
So uh, I think what I'll do is I'll edit what I have and I'll put it up. I haven't had a video up in a little over a week and a half. So I'll put a video up and sit, let you guys see the progress we're making. And like I say, I'm just going to pick the next video up right where I left off. I'll finish scratching that stuff off. And I think the next thing we want to do is we want to get in there and we want to scratch coat or, or scratch up, uh, sand up our, uh, our door jams. I got to bring those garnish molds out. We got to sand them down a little bit. Larry was nice enough to uh, sandblast them before he brought them, but I still want to go over them with, you know, like some 400 grit and just check them all out, make sure everything's going to be cool with them. So we're just going to keep rolling right along together until we get uh, where we need to be. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys are having some fun watching. If you are, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell a buddy. Let's get some more people in here. All right. So until next time, take care, everybody.